somebody yes there Who, who's got the mic We were talking about, um, you know, I, I can't help it because I see all these as a, not a conspiracy theorist or something, I hate it, but as a movement that is just beyond uh, some scientific discussion, as you said, it's not science really. So what is the, uh, the alliance behind all this propaganda in US, in everywhere? So let me draw the attention again to Saudi Arabia, for example. Do you know about their biology education? Do they have creationism? Could it, could it be them to support this book? Or I, do they really respect science? I don't know the answer to that question. I can guess, uh, but and I, I dare say there may be some people here. My understanding is that um, since Islam takes the Quran literally, whereas Christianity doesn't, except for certain branches of, of, of Christianity, we would expect that the norm, the default position for Islam would be that every word of the Quran is literally true and therefore uh, that um, the, this, the story of creation would be taken as literally true and the story of Adam and Eve is taken as literally true etc but there are many people in the room who can perhaps um, disabuse me of that I, my impression is there's there's very little evolution taught in uh, in countries that are dominated by by Islam Ibn, do you, do you know whether, whether that's true? I, I, I don't know that. No, okay. Yes. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, thanks. I'm Usman. Thanks for your talk. I was just I'm wondering whether you'd heard of um, Pervez Hoothboy in Pakistan and his um, work. I mean, he's a, I think he's a rationalist scientist and he's written a lot about how, I mean, just as in the evolution thing you've talked about, how physics department in the University of Punjab in Pakistan where he's fought a battle against um, religious scientists who try and show that there's a causal effect between praying and rain happening and I mean he's produced a lot of videos and things to rebut this and I was wondering you mean perhaps through a foundation or anything like that whether there was a way to finance these kind of projects supporting rationalism I mean because the odds are against us in many parts of the world uh, yes, thank you for that suggestion. I was not aware of this particular individual that you mentioned, but obviously, I, from what you say, I salute him. And um, I, I would be interested in trying to support such people. Thank you. Um, y yes. Um, just an answer to your question about evolution in, uh, Islamic, sorry, in Islamic countries. I'm from Syria, and uh, in our science books, we do have um, the talk they do talk, say something about evolution, uh, the books. However, the teachers, they um, abstain from teaching the theory. And they, um, I mean, as I remember, as a student, they told me, the teachers told us that you don't have to go through it and read it because you won't be asked about it in examination. So they just completely ignore it. I mean, suppose Syria is more liberal than other countries, but... Um, that that's the case. Thank you. That's useful. That's the same in, in some parts of America as well. Um, yes, 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 okay. Yeah. Well, a dead end, I suppose, would just mean a, a, a lineage that died out, of, of which there are vast numbers. That's certainly true. Um, so they wouldn't look like intermediates necessarily, um, but but I mean, something more, something more than 99% of the species that have ever lived have gone extinct, and so in, in that sense, they're dead ends. Um, I think that, yes. Oh, hello? Uh, yes? Who, else, who am I looking at? Okay, yes. Oh, okay. We'll have one. Is, is the microphone going upstairs? Or if you could repeat your question. I could repeat the question, okay. Um, yes. Y y uh, 
Um, the, um, she, the, the questioner has, has, has recently met people who believe in an Abrahamic deity and in evolution. What's that about? Well, that, that, I mean, that, that's true of, of most respectable Christians and, and Jews. Um, it, 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 it is true of the Archbishop of Canterbury. It's true of the Pope with certain reservations. Um, it's true of uh, m most of the bishops and um, educated priests. So there's nothing unusual in nowadays in combining belief in an Abrahamic deity and in evolution. When you say, what's that about? I mean, I agree with the implication of your question that there is a certain incompatibility, but that's not the way they see it. <laughs> yes, let's have the one next door. That, now we've got a microphone too. Hi, I'm from uh, Pakistan. I teach uh, at university there. And uh, first of all, I'd like to say that the lady who recommended Pervez, Hood Boy, that's an excellent recommendation. Uh, he is uh, arguably the foremost rationalist and scientist in Pakistan, and Thank I would you. highly recommend you Good. working with him. Um, when we began to teach, when I began to teach at the Lahore University of Management Sciences, and I was teaching in part uh, sections of your book, The God Delusion. Um, and my friend in, in, the, in the biology department was also teaching uh, evolution. Suddenly at our university, we saw uh, this, s this series of books come into the library of Harun Yahya. And the, the right-wing faculty members began to encourage our students to read Harun Yahya, particularly in opposition to what you had been writing. Um, so I'm wondering if you are intending to or have already written anything that specifically, as your talk does today, specifically answer to some of the rubbish that he's been putting well, in his Well, I mean, th there is the article on my website, which is the one that precipitated his, uh, his uh, temporarily successful attempt to ban the website. So that's richarddawkins.net, and then if you search for Yahya, um, you'll, you'll find it. And that has, I think, most of the pictures, um, not, not, not the one of the incontinence pad, but, um, the, um, but the ones of the various... Um, that was the, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, the, the ones of the various animals are, are all there. I mean, I, I should call your attention, call the attention of your students to these spectacular howlers like the fishing hook and the, um, and the, and the snake and the, and the eel and the crinoid and the, and the sibelid worm. Oh, sorry, he's a mic the mic's up there. A any more upstairs before we... Yeah. Do you agree with Steve Jones that evolution has come to an end or stalled? And are we uh, the living end of... I, I think since that's got so little to do with this Islamic conference, I I I'll duck that question. It's the commonest question I get asked after every lecture, um, and I can hold forth for half an hour. But I think, with, with your forgiveness, I won't. I, we better wait for the mic. Well, I, I can repeat the question. Okay. Yes. Um, the questioner is proud to be an ape, and so am I. Um, is this told to children in non-faith schools, or indeed, I suppose, in in faith schools. I, I don't think that many people, even who teach evolution, actually tell children you are an ape. It would be a very good thing to do because it's, it is literally strictly true. It's strictly true in the, in the following sense. Um, if you plot a tree diagram like the one I showed you of the protostomes and deuterostomes, um, humans come in the middle of the ape tree. So what that means is that humans are closer cousins to chimpanzees than chimpanzees are to gorillas or orangutans. Therefore, if there is a thing called an ape, which includes chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas, and gibbons, then it cannot exclude humans. There is no zoological category, no taxonomic category, which includes chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas, and orangutans, and gibbons, um, and excludes hu humans. 